Jerusalem. It's stupendous. It's conspicuously incredible. Hurry, hurry, step right up. Hey, Sonny, you going to give it a try? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another edition of Conspicuously Incredible Gaming with your host, Mike. Today, I'm going to continue on the <laughs> prototype for Skyroads, Cosmonaut. Uh, any of you who were watching yesterday saw the heck of a time I had on Road 18. So, uh, I'm hoping, 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 I'm not going to be tearing it up that bad on 19 and 20 hopefully I can get further than that but I still have till 26 so <sighs> deep breath let's tackle this bad boy Alright, I'm going to set this volume on this really, really low on this uh, gameplay because I've played back the last several videos and the gameplay is just still atrocious. It's still loud as all frick. So, hopefully it won't be drowning at the sound of my voice. Hopefully my voice won't be either putting you to sleep or making you want to drive a railroad spike through your head. Either way. Alright, so let's... uh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take another bite out of this crap sandwich. <laughs> don't, and don't get me wrong. It's a good game. It really is a good game, but it's frustrating. It really is. I suggest you try it. Uh, go to bluemoon.ee. You can look it up. Uh, Skyroads Cosmonaut. You'll find it. Alright. So, the last road that I was on was 18 and I finished it so now I need to do 19 see right there they already start you off with a piece of crap alright got the obligatory hit the wall out of the way I knew that was going to be too early. It's going to be one of those things. See, they put those tunnels there just to distract you. There's really no reason in the world why I should be trying to go through those tunnels. Because it's so easy. Ah, come on, lag. That is one of the first times I've had lag on this so bad. Hopefully the lag will catch up and dissipate in a minute.
scope. Uh, but I did make it past the checkpoint, so... Now what I was wondering earlier was it trying to spell anything, and now I know for sure this road is trying to spell something. Alright, this lag is ridiculous. Yeah, this game should not be lagging like this. Now all of a sudden the lag is gone. So I can't drop in the middle of that. This controller is starting to... I may have to even uh, fix this. And just use the analog sticks. And yeah, I'm bouncing back and forth like crazy. I'm I'm changing that. I got a something wrong with that. Still not helping much. I'm just not gonna worry about changing it back. That's gonna be a pain in the rear.
Ah, junk. Holy crow. Yeah, that was a no crap moment. <laughs> I should not have made it that far. <laughs> In all fairness, most of that was oh crap. <laughs> most all of that was oh crap. Uh, we're gonna do this again. Probably try to get all the way over to the left. Nope, I ran up against the wall. Keep doing that. fiddling with this microphone too. You know, it's on my head. I think it's picking up a lot of breathing and swallowing sounds too.
Doesn't help I got the air conditioner going in here too. to stop doing that. That's a disappointing death right there. I got a feeling there's probably uh, red insta death blocks up under those too. Like freaking yesterday in the archway of doom. Six tunnels, only one didn't kill you. Okay, yeah, it's a little bit hard. I'm gonna have to start making my way over to the left. Instead of, 
the remaining all the way to the right. That's a little easier. Really? Hey, let's jump on that big red danger block over there. It's still that bunny hop. Like the bottom of this ship is covered in flubber. microphone. I can still pick it up a lot of extra stuff it shouldn't. Of course I don't have anybody watching in the chat right now to tell me otherwise. So it's one of them I'm going to have to go back and figure out later on after the stream is over. There was a way to preview it, but same time. I gotta have headphones on or else you're gonna get, you get feedback like crazy. Still hitting that archway. It's still that bounce. If I could come up under it at the down of my, my jump. Like ping off the underside of that archway. Still coming over too far. Now I gotta hit that one. Psychedelic cluster of I don't know what 
coming up. It looks like a Jackson Pollock. Clown barfed up here. Just confetti. Looks like I'm gonna go to plaid. Uh, these guys were Spaceballs fans, by the way. Ah! You'll see that in one of the, uh, in the actual Sky Roads, there's a world called Druidia. Because they are Spaceballs fans. I'd be surprised if I didn't see the big maid. Crap. Forgetting to move over. Peace. Trying to keep it PG or at least PG thirteen. Uh, the way YouTube has been going here lately. Trying to make content that's not about the cussing. Maybe uh, later I'll do a stream or I'll get my cousin on or something and do a patron only. Ah, 
why did I do that? Uh, see, I was doing pretty good until then. We'll do a patron only where we could just cut loose and tell jokes and whatever, and that'll probably end up being my exclusive content. That sounds better than about anything else. Uh, I guess real quick while I'm while I'm thinking about it, let me do the obligatory show. If, um, if you like this content, like, subscribe, share with your friends. Uh, if you really, really like this content, throw a couple dollars my way. Patreon.com slash conspicuously incredible. Every little bit will help. Every little bit pretty much right now is going to go toward new equipment. Uh, eventually a new computer so I can play better games. Possibly a capture card. Uh, well, I'll probably be pretty much... It'll be a given. Uh, I want to get a... One of those uh, snowball mics too so I can... We'll still have to wear headphones, but I can get this kind of cheap microphone off the top of my head and hopefully I won't be picking up the uh, miscellaneous sounds from everywhere. Because uh, I've noticed uh, I can hear a lot of breathing and swallowing and stuff. It's, you know, it wasn't my intention to make you listen to my throat movements, but, you know, at the same time, that's kind of what happens. I'm trying to move this thing as far away from my mouth as I can, so I'm not breathing on it, but with this, you know, the way these things are built, the whole apparatus is attached to the top of my head. Any little swallow or move I make. Especially when I get real quiet. Like this thing, if I got real quiet, will pick up the, uh... The quartz battery-operated clocks in the room. You'll eventually be able to hear the tick, tick, tick. Uh, why did I do that? to do that again. Mm. Too far from the end of this, I have But I can actually get through with no problem. on my part. I don't know why, but it just hit me. Uh, the game I was talking about yesterday with the bulldozers and the crates it's called Sokoban. Sokoban, Sokoban. But you, you have to move the crates back to a certain point on the board. All of it within a certain amount of moves. And obstacles you gotta move around and sometimes you gotta pick them up and put them down to move around them and... That game can get really confusing. Yeah, yesterday I was 
tired. I was literally dragging when I came in. That's probably why it took me two and a half hours nearly to beat that one level. Uh, I, st I still... I'm still terrible at this game. But that's not really an excuse. But again, this was a prototype, and the hit detection and everything, yeah, it's just, it's kind of out there. They definitely didn't get this dialed in perfectly, this first shot they had at it. It's impressive, though. get a little bit far and then got to spend the next five minutes banging up against the walls before I even get there. close though. A lot closer. Just take off. Like I said, the either barely wants to move or wants to take off like a rocket. I'm not hanging up on that forever. Road 20. And... <laughs> Should have realized that. gonna be a back and forth it's gonna be a zigzag thing. Ah oh, come on, yeah, run right into the into the wall again. Right off the road, right into the corner. Empty. 
pace there. Learned my lesson the last time. Didn't learn it again. How much time? I I don't think I'm supposed to go in there. I think that's, I think that's just a ruse. I think that's just a decoy. Because they've put stuff in here before. If you think you need to go into it, but you actually don't. And I'm gonna have to try to stay on the right, possibly. Unless they fake me out with the dark red and then brown block combination. Ah! <laughs> yep, booby trap. something to that it looked a little it looked a little too easy yeah that looked a little too easy slowing me up. Come on now. Under them, not in between them. right off of there, huh? Come over here. Not hit the archway. Go under it. Thank you.
Still hitting that archway. Ah, see, that's what I should have done. If I get the pattern, of course, it's not keeping from hitting the archways, falling off the road, or hitting these blocks freaking sideways, so you're hitting the arch. particular one takes me to get through. I might try 21, but um, not nah, crud. Ah, crap. That was closer though. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try not to run another like two and a half hours again. Uh, I'm gonna a couple of people that want to hang out anyway, plus uh, I'm going to take some time and uh, put a little bit more work into uh, Project Geode as well, uh, which is my comic project. Uh, it's a comic slash graphic novel. Uh, I don't know, de depending, I mean... I'm not exactly sure what qualifies it to be a... Uh, What's the qualifier of a comic versus a graphic novel? I mean, my whole uh, idea was to go manga style. Yeah, so this is just going to be a whole lot more than just, um, ah, crud. A whole lot more than just like 10, 12 pages of comics. I mean, this, you know, each book is going to be several, several chapters, I mean, when I say a book, I mean, it's literally going to be a, like, every episode is going to be a book, or every book is going to be like an episode, as maybe you were watching it on television or something, you know, it's not really going to be just a quick strip or a snippet or, you know, it's not really one of those things meant to be taken in, like, weekly. It's not just a loose association of scenarios. So I guess in a way it would be more of a graphic novel. Or a graphic novel series. Come on, come on. I knew I shouldn't have been in the middle.
I heard the one review of this game that I didn't see, and a couple of the other, like, synopsis. Pretty much it stated that this game was harder than the actual polished version. Which, don't get me wrong, the level designs are completely different. I mean, it's not like they just rehashed the same level design just with a new nice shiny coat of paint on it. I mean, they they redid whole entire, you know, they redid a whole new set of levels. But I hear that these in this game were actually um, quite more quite more difficult. So hopefully I won't have as hard of a time getting through Skyroads as I have Cosmonaut. We won't have the pain in the butt PC, fake PC speaker effects either, and it'll actually be Sound Blaster. A little bit less talking, and a little bit more playing. Bash into the wall again. Like that. See, I'm trying to find a good place, a happy medium where I'm not breathing on this thing either. I'm going to be working with the uh, silence detection. end up touching that. Uh, I'm going to try to work a little bit more with the silence detection and when I get some more subscribers, some more followers and have people give me live feedback, I'll try to get a lot of these audio problems fixed. Hopefully though getting a new microphone all together will solve that. I think that's going to be my first goal. If you're talking about people setting up Patreon goals and stuff like that, I think the first 60 to 60 to 80 dollars is going to go to a, a microphone, to a, a Snowball, a Yeti microphone. That way I won't be breathing and swallowing and making all kinds of weird sound on the microphone unintentionally. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not a sound engineer. I'm not a professional at this by any means. I'm just pretty much starting out and learning things. Flee almost. I think there's also some settings in the X pattern that I can change. That and uh, better DS3 that will maybe uh, not allow this to happen when I keep holding the button. 
you know, give a definite like, release time so that I'm not holding the button down. Of course, you know, once I get done with the, these games here, it's really not going to matter. Um, And probably after I get done with this game, I might play a little something extra and have fun before going back to the actual Skyros game. Just something, you know, easy and fun and something not something I have to really commit to. Just just something I can toss on and play for an hour just to fool around with. It'll be another game checked off my list. That is unless uh, people like it and they want me to revisit it. Ah! Doofus. No. Oh, well, at least I made the, the checkpoint. <laughs> what the crap? <laughs> I got a feeling that block's gonna burn me, so... And this is the other thing, I'm going to have to keep up enough speed, because if I don't keep up enough speed, I'm not going to be able to jump over this over here. Of course, it's going to be a pain in the... Pain in the cosmo knot. Yeah, I figured that much. Oh wait, really? There was a gap there too? That's exactly what it looked like, was a gap, so I'm going to have to hit all the way back over to the left again. I had to do that one time. Why not? Yeah, it's, uh, I'm hitting my hour mark after that ordeal yesterday. As soon as I finish this road, I'll be signing off today. I'll pick back up on 21, 22. Keep forgetting about that. I jump over that one block and I'm like, yay, I made it. And then I'm smashing head first into the next wall. Or that, or I cut it too early.
Now I think I got a little bit of a buffering issue. oxygen before I even move over. There's be a white block up here. Or a blue one so I can refuel and That is close. You have no time to react there.
Barreling on after I get over that certain part, I just forget it. Mm hmm.
Stop. Come on. Running out of oxygen and or fuel by this time. Of course, all after all that slide right off the end. That should be an easy hop too. over too far. The thing is if I don't maintain that speed every time I let up off the accelerator on that pink crap, I will not go any faster. I will always slow down if I let go of the accelerator. I cannot gain speed. That is close. I'm cutting it way too close for comfort. Starting to be a little bit more consistent. Nope. Ain't making that either.
getting there. <laughs> Did you hear that? He was getting there. I'm gonna have to do a soundboard too or something one day. Up. Slow my down with myself down a little bit faster if I jump. Huh. I don't even there. No. What I'm making that. I hope I don't beat it while this thing is struggling. You can slow down faster if you jump. Oh, all right. Now we're in 18 minutes and 58 seconds. All right. This is where I'm gonna leave off. I'm gonna pick back up with Road 21 tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not as long as a stream, at least I got through two roads. So, uh, you know, yay for me. So, uh, do the obligatory, uh, thing. So, this has been another episode of the Conspicuously Incredible Gaming with your host Mike. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, share, and uh, if you really, really like this content, throw a couple of dollars my way. Patreon.com slash conspicuously incredible. Thank you for watching and I shall see you later.